Execution methods have long been debated, but one of the newest and most controversial is nitrogen gas asphyxiation. But how does it work? And why is it being used? Nitrogen gas makes up 78% of the air we breathe. It's odorless, tasteless, and completely harmless in normal concentrations. But the key is, nitrogen doesn't support life. If you're breathing pure nitrogen, your body isn't getting any oxygen, and you won't even feel it happening. That's what makes nitrogen execution unique. Unlike lethal injections that use drugs, nitrogen execution involves replacing the air someone breathes with 100% nitrogen, causing hypoxia, a lack of oxygen in the body. Here's how it works. A mask is placed on the person's face, and pure nitrogen is introduced into a sealed environment. As oxygen is displaced, the person loses consciousness within seconds to a minute and brain activity ceases shortly after. It's designed to be quick, silent, and painless. Supporters say this method avoids the botched injections and visible suffering seen in past executions. Nitrogen-induced hypoxia doesn't cause a sense of suffocation because there's no buildup of carbon dioxide, the gas that triggers the panic reflex, but critics raise serious ethical concerns. There's no scientific consensus on how painless the method really is, because human testing is obviously limited. Critics also worry about using medical or industrial gases for death, especially as it may desensitize us to execution itself. Oklahoma became the first U.S. state to authorize nitrogen execution. And as of 2024, it's been used in real cases, sparking global controversy. What are your thoughts? Should nitrogen replace lethal injection, or is it just another flawed system? Let us know in the comments and subscribe if you want deeper science stories that challenge the status quo.